Welcome back to DBL. Today we are talking to an Oscar winning actress, activist and mother of four. Her newest role in the faith based film called The Girl Who Believes in Miracles is coming to theaters this Easter. We can't wait. Please welcome Mira Sorvino. There she is. Yes. Hi. Hi, Hi, Mira. Thank you for joining us. We're so excited to talk to you about your new movie. But first, I'm already receiving comments from our viewers saying that their all time favorite film is Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion. So two decades later, this movie is still referenced. Kourtney Kardashian paid homage to your character just last Christmas. Mira, what do you make of the increase in nostalgia for this particular movie of yours? Um, I don't know. I think the movie stands the test of time because people always relate to being a geek in high school and they always relate to loving their best friend and um, being true to yourself, which is really the ultimate motto of the movie, being true to yourself and, and having fun, you know, in your own zany way. And I think that that individuality and love message is 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 sort of resounding and timeless. Mira, very quickly, uh, first of all, thank you for being here. Uh, we need to get serious. Uh, yesterday, we talked about Woody Allen's recent interview on our show. You worked with him in 1995, but have since separated yourself from the filmmaker. Did you catch the part where he said, actors who did this to him are only persecuting an innocent man, and how did you take that? I have no comment on that, but I think that Dylan Farrow and Mia Farrow were incredibly brave. I saw the whole documentary and I think that speaks for itself. He's a guilty man and he abused his daughter and I had no further comment on that. Thank you, Mira. And uh, we're gonna switch gears back to your movie. It's a faith-based film. What made you wanna do another faith-based film? Well, I'm a Christian and uh, I believe in God and Jesus. And this is a very sweet, lovely movie. And, you know, faith-based movies are their own genre. They're not as artsy, they're not full of violence, they're not full of thrills, but there is a big audience for them. And I think that this particular film, The Girl Who Believes in Miracles, really hits the sweet spot in what people want out of a beautiful Easter movie. It's really about the risen Christ and what is possible if you if you truly believe in God. And it's you know characterized, embodied by this little girl who is, um, her faith is just so pure and open and simple that uh, she believes there's no limits to what God will be able to do, and he does it through her for a time. And, uh, you know, it's just a very positive message, even though it is a faith-based movie, and it starts it starts with the sermon, as a lot of them do. Um, the story is not preachy. It's just loving and beautiful and um, very heart-wrenching, actually, but uh, with a, with a feel-good ending. So I, I do encourage families who like faith-based movies to go see this and Austin Johnson who plays the little girl who becomes sort of a faith healer in the story is incredible um, and uh, I love Peter Coyote in it he's wonderful as my dad my part is very emotionally harrowing um, but it's really about a, a mother's love for her daughter oh. for me Mira, I got a funny story because I did a faith-based film last year during COVID and it's coming out next year. I'm not a, comparing myself to Academy Award-winning actress or anything, <laughs> but I did it with Mina Suvari is going to be in the movie that I'm in. And I told my mom I'm doing a movie with M Mira Sorvino. And she's like, I love Mira Sorvino. <laughs> she won an Oscar. And I was like, no, 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 no. I think it's Mina Suvari. I think yeah. it's Jeff, Mina you was also great. told your co-host that too. Yes, <laughs> and when I got to set, I was like, do not say Mira. Do not say Mira. Yeah. Mina. Mina, Mina. <laughs> In fact, Mira, I went home and I was like, oh my gosh, Jeff, and Mina Savari's fantastic. But yes. you know, I, my, we all love Mira Sorvino as well at my household and we were all so excited for you, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, so at least we're in the same genre. We're in the same genre. So yeah. it might not be my last mistake. Well, say hi to your mother for me. <laughs> hey, you already did. That's Mira, amazing. what are you doing? Anything um, traditional on Easter Sunday? What do you guys do in your household with four kids? I'm not really sure what that looks like this year still. Maybe we'll find like an outdoor service somewhere. Um, the kids come downstairs and find the Easter baskets and they get all excited and they're, the baskets are larger and larger each year. The bunny is very general. <laughs> We've started doing this one golden egg as like the main prize, you know, which has some toy in it. Um, but, you know, it's also the, the sort of egg count who gets the most. Exactly. Oh, oh, good pun. I said good exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're pretty, pretty normal. We're pretty, we're pretty normal people. <laughs> well, we appreciate you, Mira. We really do. We cannot wait to see your film. We strongly encourage all of our viewers to make sure that they watch it. So another reminder, The Girl Who Believes in Miracles is out this Friday. We'll be right back. Thank you, Mira. Have a great day. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thank you.